Go again, yo, we won the Starlight Let's Players here. Now this time we're showing off all the God Eater events. So last one we did the Nitro Plus events. Now we're doing the God Eater events. And uh, this time, uh, this, center, this time this story centered around with Noir. Uh, Noir interacting with God Eater. So in the last one we had Vert interacting with Nitro Plus. Now we have uh, Noir uh, interacting with God Eater the most. So yeah, this is the big this is the beginning of the story. Hold on, bird. Hold on, bird. I think I, I can't. I can't really read. Dang, she. <laughs> Wonder how long she hasn't. Oh my, how long has she gone without even eating? Probably like a day or two. No, I doubt. I doubt that. I highly doubt she would go that far, that long without food. What do you mean? Obvi it's obviously that she's going to help you out. Alright. What the? Why not but <laughs> What? Noir specifically told you to back her up. She is quite the weird dirty blonde. But yes, we're finally gonna fight <laughs> we're gonna be fighting uh, alongside with her. Alright, let me uh let me just uh get the weapons I need. Alright, that about does it. We should be good to go at this point. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not using that weapon. <laughs> Alright. 
I see you. Uh... Alright, let's get rid of this bastard once and for all. Ooh, the pot's already broken. This is why I, I like using the uh this is like why I like using the legendary weapons. Although I will say, even without the legendary weapons Yeah, even without the legendary weapons, I you can still probably uh get to the story. I mean hell. I didn't even need the I didn't even need the legendary weapons in order to uh face off against the uh the illusionary CPUs back in the back in the uh the third story of this playthrough. Uh, I forgot to mention, just like the one with Nitro Plus, uh, this can only be, this can only be available whenever you complete, whenever you're going through or complete the wars uh, route. So yeah, yeah, keep that in mind, and just, and once again, I have just, I have to repeat myself. Uh, every character will except for God either Nitro Plus cannot have EX. On it cannot have EX next to the uh on the yeah they just cannot have EX because if they do you lost a chance of actually uh experiencing these uh events so yeah But it can eat many different things, which we'll find out soon. Oh, so they put... So since Noir had been put on a wanted list, they decided to uh, send God either to try and protect her from any by any means necessary. Or at least there's some, or at least there's some people in the station that hasn't been brainwashed. I still call bullshit on the fact that they made Noir a goddamn criminal, even though she never even worked with Alfie, Alfie Max. Like, once again, once again, I have to say this again: they have no, they had no actual proof, no evidence, no investigations whatsoever. So the fact that they would uh that the fact that they would still make the war into like this whole criminal was ridiculous and bullshit.
Jealous. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Noir. You seem to have the nice curves, too. And yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> that is quite the outfit guy he does, uh, having. I mean... My god, it's like the mix it's like mixture of a side boob and under boob too. Oh shit. Oh Oh shit. <laughs> that <laughs> That perverted god eater. <laughs> Freaking abandoned. Hold up. <laughs> abandoned, oh my god. Kinda odd for an actual weapon to get horny. An actual a, a weapon that can act. Like an actual weapon that can actually eat things. Oh, <laughs> oh sh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that does not sound good. them the snacks there <laughs> well that was on I wonder how the hell were they even able to go back home <laughs> knowing that the clothes were eight eight up they were <laughs> uh so now we get to this event <laughs> Where Nupkyu and Uni uh, try to help God either create the perfect, the perfect weapon. I wonder how that will go. Excuse me. The station's a little devil sniper. <laughs>
That oh, I have a feeling that I have a feeling they're gonna make it overkill. Also, I'm surprised Nepgear got into this. I haven't even... I know she's good with tech, but... I've never seen her that good with... I've never seen her actually wield a gun or a pistol before. Then again, when she transforms, uh, she does use her multiple, multiple beam launcher, so that gotta count for something. Alright, let's see how it does. I knew it, they made it overkill. Ninety-nine thousand? Oh shit. I still have the four digits. <laughs> Mega Dimension Barrett, a uh, skill, a skill used w between God Eater, Nepgear, and Uni. I'll be sure to show that off in the final video, which is the side extras video. Hey, what do you know? Neptune's in this one for once. But this time, the little Neptune. The big Neptune we saw was in uh, Nitro Plus. Nitro Plus' story. Yeah, the same nickname I have came with. Okay, that scares me. There is no telling what Neptune's gonna do with that. <laughs> Pretty talented. You may be able to. You may have been able to create actual weapons for Iffy, but I'm not sure if you're able to handle a goddamn weapon. One of Gaia's weapons. Super, super nep shooter prototype. So pretty much this game already predicted Neptunia shooter. That little eight bit to uh, the the little game on PC, I believe it was I believe it's eight bit or sixteen. No, no, I think it's eight bit. It could be eight bit. I don't know. The fuck. An Odin. Oh, come on. <laughs> God damn it, no tune. I knew. <laughs> Told you it was a bad idea to trust no tune, God Eater. Uh. I will. That was. 
I will admit that was pretty funny. <laughs> Freaking turned the weapon to a firework machine. <laughs> I don't know what flavor they are. Ho hopefully they're not chocolate chip, no. Different than rock hard cookies. I mean, if I were to eat hard cookies, they would, it better be shortbread. They better be shortbread, otherwise, nah. You don't know much? That's your freaking weapon! Oh no, oh no. Ten day oh thank god, ten days. <laughs> I would have been on I would have been on her ass if she ever uh if she ever pull a ISTE and say it's three days. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? Please don't tell me it ain't no wars panties. Lastinium. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, let's see. Oh, n oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, it ate the panties! It ate- <laughs> It ate Noir's panties! Oh my god! That is one perverted god arc. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn, second time they've been a victim to Abaddon. Hey, what do you know? Who's amazing this one too? going to come <laughs> me and my dirty mind on a date huh hmm Man, she, she should have gotten a skill with Uzumade. <laughs> the blue head. Of course, they made a Sonic reference. I mean, it's not the first time they did this. It was back in the first game. Yeah. <laughs> But to call the chili dog the blue hedgehog, what, they died a chili actual blue or something? <laughs> Freaking blue hedgehog chili dog, oh my god. Oh, this time that tune's paying. Oh no. Oh no, not a hot dog contest. God. God damn it. Yeah, Neptune's pocket is fucked. <laughs> Five hot dogs! Who's made five hot dogs? I see. Fifty? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, even I'm shocked too, Who's made What the fuck? Sixtieth? She had over sixty hot dogs? What the hell? It's like this girl got a freaking black hole in her stomach. Oh, hell! Hell no! <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Neptune's wallet has been straight up raped at this point. <laughs> it just can't. There's just no other way. Oh my god. Yo, what? You just ate over like 60. How the fuck are you still hungry? Seventy and a half rounds. Oh my god. Well, that's unfortunate. That is so unfortunate, though. <laughs> Be the strong, be stronger, and be like that one person. So he's like the, uh, so he's like the silent type or something, huh? Don't die, and if you're about to die, then run away and hide. No Uzume, they do not take crazy equipment with them on dates. And if you're gonna say Fiona uh, bought a sword from uh if you if you're gonna say Fiona bought a sword back in uh the adventure one of the adventure time episodes yeah, it was obvious that she was using the pocket sword. <laughs> so we can't really count that. What? <laughs> no nor it is not it is not normal
If she left, she would have told them. Yeah, so it's obvious it wasn't really it wasn't really dates. There were actually monsters that she was facing off against during quests. I know Noir was playing along, but we gotta admit, that was quite the performance. <laughs> uh, anyway, I had to skip over, uh, in the first, cause, like, I faced off against Noir, and, uh, I faced off with Noir, uh, <sighs> I getting my words mixed up. I faced off against this monster as Noir and got it on my first try, and it did not end it so well, so I had to, um, I had to grind a, I had to grind a bit more because there was no telling. I think this monster was like, like level 70 or something. But yeah, it was very powerful and it was kicking my character's asses. So I had to level them up a bit more. <sighs> yeah, I had to level them up a bit more. This time instead of two characters, I had to use four. Cause like this one has like this one has like three like three to four health bars. I, don't know, I can't really tell. Yeah, this one has four health bars. Four health bars. Unlike the fight against Horuchu, oh, uh, where we where we had one health bar, but he was at level 99. So uh, that was something. But yeah, this fight, this fight, I would say is even more difficult than the. Uh, this fight is even more difficult than the one in verse, in verse, uh, not verse, but Nitro Plus the story. Gotta make sure that the uh, appropriate levels. You can beat you can beat this at around level 60 to 70. So it's not that difficult, but you have to break the you have to break the parts on this uh monster, and it can get up uh, and it is a little problematic to try and do that. But if you're over, but if your characters are over like a hundred. Then it shouldn't be. Then it should probably be a cakewalk for you. But yeah, there's really nothing else I can say about this fight. Absolutely there, you just gotta defeat him, gotta beat it, and you'll see the actual, you'll see the last cutscenes of this final event.
Yeah, that should be like a total of eight event. Total of uh eight parts to this little uh to this little story. God damn it, I had the freaking miss, really? Volcano dive. Use a mid-range attack. Freaking sweeping breath. I can see why it's called sweeping breath. Using fire, but to sweep, to sweep up the uh, sweep away the characters. All right, going orange heart using Umio Heaven. Holy fuck, we're, om we're almost there. We almost got this bastard. Now, is it as hard is it as difficult as the fight against um is it as difficult as the fight against the elite the, the uh, illusionary CPUs I don't know maybe I still think I say maybe but I still think the fight against the uh, illusionary CPUs is the hardest one but like I said you don't really need the um you don't really need the uh the legendary weapons in order to uh kill the boss. Though it doesn't really hurt for you to uh get the legendary weapons if you want to do it that way, but uh do it normally just by grinding and make like grinding your characters a lot. And just uh you know, just making them more powerful like that without having to use the legendary weapons or just use the uh the send me <laughs> The uh, Sinmu Labyrinth uh, dungeon, which I will show off in the final episode, final uh, video. Yeah, doing it without using those type of tactics—that's what it's all about for me. Although, <laughs> although I would recommend, I would mostly recommend using the uh, legendary weapons for Noir uh, in her story. Because as I said before, during the playthrough, Keisha is a can be really annoying when it's, when you're going mono y mono. For that infinite slash. What? Blood rage. Ooh! Finally, we've beaten him. Oh, thank God. SP Charger, Game Industry Chocolate. No thanks.
Oh, no war made her second friend. This time she's not a nutcase. Got the God Eater. And we got a skill between the war and God Eater. So, that's going to be it for this video. Stick around for the final video. We're going to be showing off the last uh, bit of stuff in the game. Uh, until then, the Starlight Lux player signing out. As always, go Kigenyo and have a star tastic day, everyone. What you want? Tell me what you need. She gon' party like she in the swingin' 70s. Now I'm riding through the sunset just like I'm a boss. We be riding all for night. Girl, let's take it slow. Just wanna make sure that you come. Call you my princess, I'm your prince Just to let you know You're such a hottie, you could be in a fashion show Girl, let's take it slow Just wanna